Time now is 612. Welcome back everybody. Time to talk about what's trending online on social media. There's a surprising number of people that are very comfortable being out in public naked. Really? Yes. It's <laughs> interesting. And Jason Carr covering that story for us. Good morning. I'm sorry, what did you say? <laughs> Not <laughs> even. <laughs> Thousands of bikers bared it all in Portlandia over the weekend. It was part of the annual World Naked Bike Ride. There they are right there. Many riders ditching their clothes and decorating their helmets or wearing colorful body paint to disguise, you know, the unmentionables. Organizers say the ride is actually a protest against the use of fossil fuels, but more importantly, it's about having a good time and being comfortable in their own skin. How about that? Okay. <laughs> For them. Right. I'm a specialist. <laughs> really? For once, And that's right? rare. That's <laughs> okay, uh, an air traveler's dream came true. This lucky Delta passenger had an entire flight to himself. The guy I'm talking about, Steve Schneider, was flying from New Orleans to Atlanta when he thought his empty gate meant that he had missed the flight. Turns out, yep, all the other passengers were scheduled to different flights after a delay, and Schneider was offered a different flight, but he opted for taking this one by himself <laughs> and rightfully so I bet he got some great service I know <laughs> See, this is why people in Portlandia are riding naked because the fossil fuels that were burned just right. to fly that one dude from I know. New Orleans to Atlanta I'm hoping that's what they're mad about I'm hoping they really needed that plane in Atlanta and that's why it was going to be flying down there anyway that's exactly that right. does seem like a waste of money talk about a bridezilla one unlucky bridesmaid had an emotionally exhausting and financially stressful experience when she was in her friend's wedding party the anonymous bridesmaid said she was at her friend's beck and call when it came to wedding demands the bride even asked her bridesmaids to chip in for her ten thousand dollar wedding dress Rhonda's over there going like this. And it's just not right. Not to mention the bridesmaid <laughs> dresses were over $500 a pop. Yes, and then whatever other expenses, if you had to travel to get to the wedding, mm -hmm. hotel fees, that is bad etiquette. Yeah, well, bad is. wedding oh, yeah. etiquette. What are people saying about this, Jason? Uh, Brenda says she better go to the clearance rack and have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also in the port, Jackie Wolf Harder says no. If the bride can't afford it, she needs to scale down everything in mm -hmm. all caps. And Agree. we have two more. Kathy says, guess she would have one less bridesmaid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be able to make it. And Jonathan Gomez, if they pay it back when they get divorced. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Would you would you participate willingly? I think that's just inappropriate. I don't even think I have any friends that would expect that. It's just so awkward and, and a very awkward conversation to have to have. And, and when did she have it? On the onset? Hey, I want you to right. be my bridesmaid. This is kind of what I have in mm, mind. You agree. <laughs> and then later she's like, oh, by the way, help me pay for my $10,000 wedding dress. The audacity, huh? Right.